Once again, thank you, Mr. Arthur, for making it to the show. <laughs> so if you j will just introduce yourself, tell us your name, then uh, maybe you share us with us the team that you are playing for. Okay, thank you, Mr. Boni. I'm privileged to be part of this interview. I'm Arthur Ochu. I'm a central defender in Kisumu All Stars. Yes. So, uh, if I may ask, uh, what made you love football? Okay, first of all, I would say it's passion. Then apart from passion, football is a career. It pays and many people are not living out of it. So I've always wanted to be a professional footballer since my childhood, even though I have another career out of football, but I love it so much. So that's why I play it. <laughs> so from which, uh, which age did you start playing football? Okay, I started it from my early childhood and I think I've played it gradually. I've passed through all the stages of pool football from under 10 coming upwards. Then I think it's okay because for now um, um, I think I'm confident playing because I didn't I didn't undergo, I didn't uh, I didn't pass any stage that was necessary for me to be up to this point. Okay. So if someone uh, if someone would love to know so how do you feel pl playing in the Kenyan Premier League? You know it's the top Premier League in Kenya. So how do, how do you feel playing there as a player? No, it's a privilege and it's a very rare opportunity. So I'm very happy because okay, in Kenya players are made very many and the chances are very limited. So if you are part of it, you love to be happy. I'm very happy. I know back, uh, back then, in uh, some of the years back, you were dreaming of playing to, in, within some teams in the Kenyan Premier League and maybe within other team outside there, other teams outside there. So what are the, uh, would you love to share with us uh, the name of these teams? Uh, <laughs> okay, first of all, I think I was, I was always dreaming to be a player in the Kenyan Premier League because I've always believed in myself. For now I'm in Kisumu All Stars and I'm proud of the team. But okay, I've always wanted to play for Lindsay Stars because it's always my best. Yeah. I know uh, as you have been part of the Kenyan Premier League, I know you know some of the challenges that are facing the Kenyan Premier League teams. So if you if you share with us what are some of the challenges that uh, the Kenyan Premier League are facing, some of the teams that are playing within the Kenyan Premier League. Okay, I think the major challenges that the major challenge that teams are facing in the Kenyan Premier League is all about financial status. Uh, many clubs are really suffering because they cannot manage their daily activities like paying the players' salaries, the allowances, and some teams even cannot manage to travel for their away matches. So I think it's the major challenge in the Kenyan Premier League. Yes. Okay, so as a player, let me say like, uh, if someone asks you right now. Uh, someone just come from nowhere then ask you Mr. Arthur between uh, Messi and Ronaldo the two of them which one will you pick as the best player <laughs> <laughs> okay it's, it's quite a tough question because they are the two players are very different they play different roles so but generally in terms of talent I rank Messi on top of Cristiano Ronaldo yes. uh, Messi on top of Cristiano Ronaldo why why, why not Ronaldo Okay, Ronaldo, I like his charisma, he's a hard worker, and okay, he can carry the team when the, during the tough times. I like, just like the style of play of Messi, he's very talented and can maneuver his ways out whenever the team is in, his, is in very tough situations. So it's all about talent. Okay, when it says, I, in, for Cristiano, uh, some, some people say that when talent doesn't work, then sometimes hard work beats yeah. talent. So it has always proven Cristiano right, yeah. then Messi also has always, always been proved right because he's talented. So, but for me, Messi, Messi is my best. But what do you think always happens at times? You find like uh, the people who are uh, the, the fans of football, as they are watching, they always say that uh, like the last time uh, the best player was being selected, they felt like Cristiano Ronaldo should have been the one who would have been uh, announced the winner. But you find like the, uh, the expectation uh, didn't, uh, didn't come the way they thought. So uh, Messi was the one who carried the, the day when uh, the best player was being announced. So what do you think always happened? Okay, it's it's quite <laughs> it's quite a tough question, but life is all about challenges. Whenever you expect the best, 
then you don't get it. So I think many people expected Cristiano Ronaldo to be the best player by then and he was supposed to be chosen. But the panel didn't choose him. So I think they they voted in favor for Messi. So I go for that. Even if Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldo could have been chosen, I could have just gone for that. Okay. Once again, thank you, Mr. Arthur, for making it to the show. We are humble to host you. Okay, thank you.